Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video I am going to introduce you to one of the most recent announcement which was made last week by Azure Open AI and it is about real-time voice API. So if you are not aware what this real-time voice API is, I would recommend you to quickly check out this official documentation which was published on 3rd. And what they are saying is uh, if you are working for a solution which is utilizing speech or voice stuff then in that case uh, you can try this gpt 40 if you have created applications earlier then you may face some latency issues while dealing with llms but if you are going with this real-time api then you will feel like there is almost no latency response is very fast as you can expect from any human so this is the documentation you can definitely go through it these are the versions which are released and this is how you can deploy it they do have some sample application already created so if you want you can go through it but what i'm going to show you today is i'm going to show you how you can get started with it using azure portal so what you need to do is you need to log into azure portal go to azure open ai and you can click on create here so as soon as you will click on create you will get this web page wherein you need to furnish all the required details so here you need to provide your resource group you need to provide your region then some unique name so in my case i selected east us2 and then the pricing tier which works for you so once this is done you can click on next and you will see that an instance of azure open ai got created for you so now we have the instance created next thing i will not create one because i have already done one so let me go back and cancel this okay so once you will create this you will see that an instance got created over here so this is my instance next thing what you need to do is you need to go to azure open ai studio let's give it a few seconds and here on the left hand side you can see the deployments so click on this deployments and click on this plus deployment model and deploy the base model so here on the left hand side again you can see that this real time preview is listed as a first item in this list so select this one and again here are some uh, here is some information which you can definitely go through it what it can do what is the model version right now and what are the enhancements they are having so click on confirm and it will go ahead and ask you a few more things so this is the version if you want you can rename this deployment name to something else then you can change this right now i think you can't change it because it is still in preview this is the region where i have deployed and here is the content filter so once all these are done just click on deploy so in my case i have put a phone only once so i'm not going to do it but once it is deployed you will see something like this so this is the one which i deployed some time back now if you want to try it out how it works what you can do is again go to the playground and on the left hand side you can see real time audio so click on this and here we need to select the model which we just deployed so in my case this is the one and here definitely you can provide some instruction uh, like what this AI assistant is going to do or what you want this assistant to do so I will keep it as it is and then you can select what voice you want I will go with shimmer and here are the few parameters uh, which you can definitely set it so threshold prefix and the silence duration so all these are mainly how fast you want your response let's say you are talking and you are taking so much of pause in between then definitely you need to tweak these parameters so these are the default settings and here how much would be your max response so i would just say make it to two uh, let's make it to thousand and temperature definitely you can set so these are the parameters which you can set now what we are going to do here is let's try it out how it works so let's see hello hello how can i assist you today let me increase the volume a bit unfortunately i can't directly adjust the volume for you no problem so how are you doing today i'm doing great thanks for asking how about you what's on your mind today so I'm okay because looks like winter just started in Seattle and I really want sunny weather back again. So, yeah. I Seattle winters can be pretty gray and rainy. Hopefully, 
you'll get some sunny breaks here and there to brighten things up a bit. In the meantime, maybe you can bring a little sunshine indoors with some cozy lighting or a bright activity. Anything fun planned to get through the winter season? Not really till now, but uh, if you can suggest me something, give me one place where I can go and visit even if it's a rainy day for me. One great place you can visit in Seattle even on a rainy day is the Chihuly Garden and Glass. It's a beautiful exhibition showcasing the uh, I glass think artwork. just hold on. I think I already visited that. Do you have any other option in your mind? Sure. Another great indoor option in Seattle is the Museum of Pop Culture Mopop. It's a unique museum dedicated to contemporary popular culture. Okay, thank you so much. Bye-bye. You're welcome. If you so we have seen that how nicely she was responding because I selected the voice as shimmer so it was the it was a female voice and how nicely she was responding. Whenever I'm interrupting in between she just stopped there and preferred to listen to me. So I hope you enjoyed uh, and realized that how easy it is to make work for us. So whenever we are creating a voice application now you will not feel like you are talking with a robot or some AI stuff. Rather, it would be more natural like a human. So if this really impressed you, then I would suggest you to stay tuned for my next video because in my upcoming video, I will show you how you can achieve this on your own data using actual API. So till then, see you. Bye-bye.